In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use WPE Member to set up a free membership site. In the demonstration, I'm going to create a protected page that requires the visitor to become a free member in order to gain access to it. When WPE Member is installed, three pages are created by default. These include the Join page, Login page, and Registration page. The Join page typically explains the benefits of membership and provides links or purchase options for the various membership levels. To keep things simple and straightforward, I will bypass the join page for this demonstration and bring the visitor directly to the registration page. The first task we need to do is create the free membership level. From within your WordPress dashboard, go to WPE member then Membership Level. Click the Add New button. Enter a name for this membership level. I'll call it Free. Click the Submit button at the bottom of the page. Make note of the level ID. We'll need it in the following steps. Next, we will enable free membership access. Click on Settings from the WPE Member menu on the left side. In the General Settings section, click the checkbox to enable free memberships. In the next box, type in the ID that was created in the previous steps. Note that the ID in this demonstration may be different than the ID for the free membership level on your website. Optionally, you can choose that the visitors must confirm their email address before becoming a member. This setting will simply modify the registration form, making it a three-step process. The visitor will be prompted for their email address on the registration page. Then they'll need to click a link within their email, which will bring them back to the registration page, but this time with more fields to fill out. Now scroll to the bottom and click the Update Options button. Now, let's change the Join page so that it points to the registration page. Do this only if you do not want the interim step of pre-selling the visitor to join your free membership site. Also, you likely wouldn't want to do this if you have multiple membership levels. At the top of the screen, click the Pages slash Forms Settings tab. Near the top, you'll see the URLs for the three mandatory WPE member pages. The URLs were added during the setup of WPE Member. The URLs to yours will not be exactly the same as the ones shown in the video. I created mine manually after doing multiple demonstrations with WPE Member. The important thing to do here is to copy the URL for the registration page and paste it over top of the URL for the join page. Then scroll to the bottom and click the Update Options button. Now, let's add the login and registration pages to a WordPress menu. To do so, go to Appearance, then Menus. The menu locations and name differ depending on the theme being used on your site. The procedure to add pages to the menu is the same. You just may have to switch the menu before editing it or you may need to create a new menu and attach it to a location defined by your theme. As you can see on my screen, I am working with a previously created menu called Main that is attached to the top menu location which was defined by the theme I'm using. This location seems to make the most sense for the pages I want to add. After choosing the menu you want to work with, Make sure the Pages panel is open on the left side of the screen. Put checks next to both Login and Registration and click the Add to Menu button. Drag and drop them in the menu structure to rearrange them if needed. Then click the Save Menu button. Visit your website to make certain that the menu is updated as expected. Now, let's create the protected page. 
Go to Pages, then Add New. Give the page a title that describes what it is. Provide the content that will only be displayed to members. Scroll down and look for the eMember Protection options. If for some reason it isn't there, scroll to the top, click Screen Options, and put a check mark next to eMember Protection Options. Now, within the eMember Protection Options, choose Yes, Protect This Content. Then, place a check next to the free membership level. Then, click the Publish button. Visit the page in your browser to verify that the content is indeed protected. Click the Join link to register. Remember, in general, this would link to the Join page where you have different membership options and where you can describe the benefits of joining. However, in previous steps, we changed the Join link to link directly to the registration page instead. We did that to simplify things when only offering one free membership level that needs no further explanation. Now test registration by filling in the registration form, and then click the login link to log in. Remember too that there is an option within WPE Member that allows you to auto log in a member upon registration. Now, when visiting the protected page, you are able to see the protected content.